<laughs> Why does it feel like nobody is listening to me? This is tough for you, huh? Looks like someone needs to learn some management skills. I'm sorry, who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm Karen Collins, the president's new senior advisor. My specialty, common sense. I need to talk to my mom. Oh my God, Catherine, look at you. Do you remember me? Of course. Talk to this, talk to Karen. Um, her specality is common sense. That's oh, great, right. you know. Good memory. I'm Jonah Ryan. It's oh, a pleasure real to pleasure meet you. I'm Karen. Yeah. And so. Karen, uh, I'm here. I want to give you a hug. All right. Great to I'm see so you. glad to see you. <laughs> you guys met? Oh, yes. yes. Great. Great. Besties. Well, let's get off the tarmac. Mm. And to help out my mom. Oh, mm. very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Last year, I met a boy called Jason. Mm. I don't know. Should she say boy or man? Yes, just to that's be a clear. good question, ma'am. Yeah. I just, I don't know if this is going to play well. You know what? I started to feel that way myself. But how could it not play well? We're in love. Yeah, it might play well. It could. I think it might. Mm-hmm. Like Last year, I met a guy called Jason and we fell in love. All right, sweetheart, it doesn't sound like you're in love to me. It sounds like you've been kidnapped by the Taliban. Or... Exactly. Come on out, honey. It sounds like you're angry. I am angry. Well, that's why you sound like you're angry. Hide it. Conceal it for a second. Good, conceal it. Oh, oh, oh. that needs work. That needs work. We really need to look at the president's speech now. Hey, human emotion, you can't rush it. It's not a precise science, Amy. All sciences are precise. That's what science means. Well, that's open to interpretation. Yes. Extraordinary. Do you think we should issue a statement or... Yes, but yeah. a statement that can be repurposed if things change. He dies, he doesn't die, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, that's very clever. Thank, Thank you. you. This is such a bold move. It's clever. It's a really bold move. Yes, that's what I said. All right. There's nothing... I mean, it doesn't make any sense to say this, but I mean, I... We need to pick a running mate now, okay? So do you want to discuss our options? Has to be Danny Chung. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Isn't that spooky? Not even remotely. Okay, everybody, Chung should be here any second. All right. All right. I just heard Chung should be here any second we oh. got ourselves a meeting am i right you are right <laughs> the shitty two-faced fat fucking turd said no okay this is a curveball we will need to address is the checklist complete yeah nope we both say no hey you know what i got an idea no you don't you just think you do go on gary i think you've got something thank you karen maddox that's right maddox Minority, military. Oh, that's your veep. Everybody stop having ideas. There's so many of them. Yeah, you didn't like any of them. Well, that was then, and this is not then. I mean, it is such a great job. Mm -hmm. Such a great job. Mm. Yeah. Why not? Amy, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you are being a little irritating. Well, maybe not a little bit. A lot of bit. That's right. Karen, what do you think of Pierce? Well, I think um, there are pros and cons to every candidate, so we just need to weigh up the pros and cons. Have you been sent from the future to destroy me? Because it's working! I think that each candidate has merits and demerits, and I don't know my left butt cheek from my right butt cheek, but I believe in listening to both butt cheeks and then farting out my asshole mouth. Okay. It's not even bullshit. Bullshitting takes talent. You have none. You are just a blah, 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 blah bitch. Okay, <laughs> Amy, that is enough. You have achieved nothing uh -huh. apart from one thing. The fact that you are a woman means we will have no more women presidents because we tried one and she fucking sucked. Goodbye, ma'am. Well, that was clearly about me. <laughs> She's just one of those women who resents powerful women. Ma'am. <laughs> Karen? Yes. What do you think of Tom James? What do I think of him? I think there's a lot to think. Thank you. Of course. Oh, my God, do you think this is the right decision? Yes. Maybe we should take a step back and just reassess. You, uh, you know Mike McClintock? Mm -hmm. I'm Mike, how are Senator. you? Senator. And Kent Davis. Senator, yeah, it's good to see you. I'm Karen. Gary. So, look, what oh, I got! Sounds like good news! Welcome aboard, Senator! Thank you. Oh, wait, no, that's no, not wait, even the best wait, part! Very well Listen! Then I said, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to accept. <laughs> I accepted. <laughs> he accepted. Oh, it's tremendous. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to mark the moment, I don't did. we? I, <laughs> I tell you what, let's scooch down here just a that's little good. bit. Yeah, there we go. Take it quick, quick, quick. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's enough. Okay. Thank you. That's all uh, completely under control. Our campaign manager is um, it Kent. 
Roger that. Oh, well, that was a meeting that I wasn't at. That I is guess. correct. Uh, Karen, she said, well, that's no good. Who's going to see that? <laughs> what do you think about, you know, the group? Well, I feel like there are some people who should be here and some who shouldn't. That's exactly how the president feels. Oh, good. Yeah, which is why she's asked me to let you go. Interesting. Yeah, your champagne's been laced with polonium. I mean, not really. It just lightened up the moment a little bit, but uh, she definitely wants you to go. So, how are you feeling? I don't know what to think. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, you could just use that the door right there. Okay. All clear, ma'am. Oh my God! Look who's here! Hi, it's Karen. It's Karen. <laughs> oh, hi, Tom. Karen. Yeah, we met at the convention. Okay. So I keep getting that static electric shock. You need one of those ionic bracelets that grounds you. I thought that was ours. I thought we had it. I wasn't entirely sure. What do you think, Karen? About something specific or? Should the, uh, should the president and I have swapped roles? For? For the, uh, the election, this election. There's an election going on. Oh, well, you're asking me a hypothetical question and I need to answer it as best I can. Okay, well, you just did. Great. <laughs> this is a 360-degree turn. It's 180. Why can't the American people make up their minds? I mean, how hard is it to decide between two candidates? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Yep. And, uh... I don't know what to do. We don't do anything. You do what you have to do. Ma'am, we really ought to get someone who can stall till we find the ballots. I already right. thought about that. I've got it covered. We're still searching for the vote, so we need you to stall. Amy, I respect the sanctity of this courtroom far too much to stall. This is a simple and straightforward case. Although, in many ways, that's what makes it so complicated. You see... <clears throat> that's good. Do that. Oh. Before we begin, I would love to define a few key terms. Vote. What is a vote? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. Oh, is it, Your Honor? In many cultures, the word vote can mean a myriad of things. It can mean a celebration. It can mean a dance around a fire. It can mean a silent nod. In this room, what does it mean? Your Honors, I have just been informed that uncounted ballots have been discovered in Washoe County. I'd like to move that those be included in the recount. Objection. The deadline has already passed. Your Honor, how is counsel defining deadline and past? May it please the court. There are many things that we could all stand here and debate for hours on end. Is the sky blue? Is water wet? But isn't it far worse to adhere to an arbitrary deadline rather than counting every valid vote? You're going to cancel this recount like Anne Frank's bat mitzvah. Yeah, I'm on it. We would like to file a motion to exclude all pending ballots from the recount. Ms. Collins, you do realize that what you're saying is in diametric opposition to the case you presented yesterday. If the deadline has passed, why is the recount allowed to continue? Come on, Charlie, 100%. 100%. All right, great. <laughs> now, on the other hand, bailing out your boyfriend, I mean, that could be career ending, right? Yeah, right. But I mean, if you had a, a gun to your head. Oh, maybe the gun doesn't have any bullets. Well, thank you so much for coming. It was my pleasure. Oh, gentlemen. Well, that was completely useless. 